Okay, if you want to regain your focus, do some deep work, then you need to check out this app, Forest. Okay, so let me pull it up and show you. So, Forest, in its core, is a timer app. You literally open it up, set the time that you want to work for, press plant, and go ahead and work. Okay, so how does Forest actually stop you from getting distracted though, right? So, why can't I just go over to Instagram? Well, you'll see, I've just exited the app, and I go to try listen to podcasts and it's coming up and saying deep focus this app isn't on your allow list return to forest and stay focused so it stops me from going on any other app which obviously is super useful it will stop you from getting distracted one thing that may concern people is okay I use my phone to be productive I might need some notes apps or whatever well it has this concept of an allow list so if you go into the settings and navigate to app allow list. You can basically have certain lists. Uh, I've got one here for work where you can set certain apps to be allowed during your focus time. And so I actually have for my work, a couple of things like two factor authentication that I need for work, one password, and then various notes apps and calendar apps that I may need to refer to while I'm working or studying. And so what you'll see is when I'm during a focus session and I try to go off, something like Spotify, which I allow myself to listen to music during focus time, or Notion and so on, those apps I can actually go on. So that's a really cool feature about the allow lists. Okay, but the second really important feature of Forest is that it's really rewarding. And what I mean by that is it's giving that extra little bit of extrinsic motivation for you to do deep work and get focused. So how does it do that? So the first thing you'll see here on this app is that I'm planting a specific tree. But if you tap that, you'll see there's many different varieties of trees that you can plant, right? It's a bit of a gimmick, but it is fun and it does add a tiny bit of extra motivation. And you can see in the store that I've just navigated to, you can go and buy these with coins. Now these coins, you can't just buy, it's not a monetization strategy, uh, sort of. You can only earn these coins from doing focused sessions. You know, planting those trees, you will earn coins. So it's a beautiful idea to just get you motivated to focus and study and work and so on. Um, I will say in the, in in the other aspect of being rewarding and adding motivation, there is a achievement section. Um, I don't really pay attention to this. Like, it's a cool idea. It's like PlayStation trophies or Xbox uh, achievements. Um, you know, focus for a certain number of days, get on the leaderboards, and so on. Um, so that may motivate you as well, which can only be a good thing. Okay, so another feature that is really cool and like visually nice to look at, but you could get some real benefit out of, is if you navigate to your forest, you can basically review uh, your focus time spent during the course of a day, week, month, or year. And you'll see it, it shows all your trees that you've planted. Uh, caveat, all these dead trees are me testing for this YouTube video and canceling. Um, but you'll see the focus time for the day really nice visualization of maybe where I worked in the morning and the afternoon and, and you can see I kind of had lunch at 12 because I did not focus um, so it gives you some really cool things to break down if you're into that kind of time tracking analysis um, but the other thing here is tags so I don't really use this but basically let me show you if when you go to start a timer or in the middle of the timer, you can set on the screen here different tags. So you could have studying, work, social or whatever. And that means then when you're coming to like review your focus time and your study sessions, you could kind of see the breakdown of how much time you spent working versus studying versus whatever else you're wanting to track. Um, the final thing I'll say about that is you can actually also share these cool like infographics. Um, so you see here today I worked like three and a bit hours and here's my forest of the different trees I planted. Um, I think they're really cool. So um, if you make some cool forests, feel free to DM these to me on Instagram. My handle is there. Now the final thing I'll say is the social aspect of things is also quite interesting and, and maybe motivating for some of you. So you can have friends 
I don't have any on this app at the moment, uh, which I'll pause to say, if you do end up getting this app, you know, I'm not sponsored by this, but you know, you can go ahead and use my referral code, which is here and in the description, uh, send me a frame request and you'll show up on my leaderboard and I can have someone to compete with. But there's also the global rankings. Um, and so there's some people who, I think it started today and they've already spent 18 hours studying. Um, so amazing. I'm never gonna get number one, but you know, it's, it's for some people that will be really motivating. I, like The final thing to say is, obviously this app isn't free. I can't remember if I did pay for it back. It, it might have been free back in the day, but um, from what I can tell, the price is £3.99 or $3.99. So, you know, to be a little bit more disciplined with your deep work, remove distractions, and build that habit of like focusing, four quid, that, that's crazy. That's, you know, less than the cost of one Starbucks coffee. And the only other way they monetize this app is you'll see at the top right um, where your coins are you can buy a bottle of elixirs and so they basically you can buy these and it triples the amount of coins you can earn for every tree that you plant so okay yeah you can get coins a bit faster but it's not like a huge game changer for the app it doesn't ruin your motivation to focus and in a way it's a nice way to you know pay back the developers if you do get a lot of use out of this over the next few months and you think oh god i've only given them four pound after a year of use well buy an elixir then and you know it just keeps helps them if you're really concerned about that but you really don't have to so honestly this app it's so simple. Like I said, it's just a timer, but those extra little features that are fun. I just love looking at my forest at the end of the day. If this app can give you just a little bit extra motivation to do some deep work and focus and get off your phone, then check it out. It's amazing. I think it's really good.